Let's head to the Houston area to take a look at two of the top prospects in Texas. If a team is strong up front, it's usually going to have a good chance to win. But when a team has the best defensive lineman and the best offensive lineman in the entire state, that's going to strike fear in the hearts of every opponent. That's the case this season at Episcopal High School in Bel Air, Texas. It's something special, especially for a smaller school like this, to have uh, two really highly recruited guys at one school with great talent, but you know, it worked out that way and we love it. It's, uh, it's fun for us and it makes us better. Walker Little plays left tackle. He's six foot seven inches tall, weighs 300 pounds, and is widely regarded as a five-star prospect. Texas, Stanford, and Ole Miss are among the leaders in his recruitment. On the other side of the ball, defensive tackle Marvin Wilson is considered by some as the top overall prospect in the country. Wilson is six foot four inches and 330 pounds, and he has that rare combination of speed and strength that college scouts covet so much. Texas, LSU, Alabama, Florida State, and Oklahoma are some of the favorites for his commitment. Wilson has grown up admiring elite defensive linemen in the NFL, and now he looks like he could one day be one himself. I always liked watching uh, Warren Sapp when I was growing up. You know, he was playing with the Raiders, and I always used to like watching him. You know, and I watched him. I used to I watch Adama Kasu now. You know, because like the meanness and nastiness and how he plays at a D tackle. You know, I just like those two guys. I really like watching him. Watch Reggie White. You know, just I just like watching those guys. In practice, Wilson and Little go head to head all the time. They're always pushing each other to reach a higher level. It definitely helps us both. It's high intensity. Uh, it's college level reps and. Uh, it helps us get ready for the next level and really uh, improves both of our games each time. Uh, when we, we start getting practice, like real, like uh, after we get out of two days, you know, have our individuals and stuff like that, we'll come in, do one-on-one -on -one pass rush, run, run, run block drills and stuff like that, and then do uh, double teams, you know, different things that we work on. On Friday nights, of course, they're on the same side, and they almost always dominate the competition. In some short yardage situations, you may see them on the field at the same time as Wilson occasionally lines up at tight end. I love coming in at tight end because it's, it's me and Walker on the same side. We just plow everything that's on our side. Oh yeah, it's fun. Uh, we gotta we gotta crash down on some people and really really take kids out, which is a fun thing and uh, really opens up the offense for us. In his senior year, Wilson wouldn't mind seeing a new wrinkle in the offense. Uh, let me go in a heavy package, but I'm at quarterback or something like that and go do a quarterback sneak. That's, that, that's my dream. Episcopal plays in the Southwest Preparatory Conference, which is for private schools. And last season, Episcopal reached the championship game. This year, for these two and their teammates, it's all about one more shot at a title. Definitely gives us motivation throughout the summer and uh, every single practice, knowing that you know it's a long season. We're going to have to grind all the way through. And, uh, you know, we almost made it last year, but we just got to work that much harder this year. Every day since last year, you know, oh, we lost state last year with a great team that we have. Now we got a lot of guys that uh, came up rise. Walker's number two player in the country now. Jalen broke the ESPN 300, so, you know, got a lot of great things going into the season. So, you know, just last year, we just all took, took it personal. You know, it's our last year coming up. You know, we got we to take it personal and win the state championship. Definitely for us, that's our goal, state championship. You know, nothing less. And uh, we're going to work every day towards it. This dominant duo will be interesting to follow both on the field and in recruiting all season long.